morning guys Shea Bear 1000 here day two of the St. Pete trip uh, it's about 11 o'clock monkey ran over here at the store just a minute or two away she had to get some charcoal <laughs> forgot charcoal well I didn't forget it we just decided to get it down here but I did forget crackers so she had to give me some crackers we're gonna have ribs on the barbecue grill and stuffed peppers so shit, that should be fun stick around guys should be a good day and i just shut you off to roll the intro and she just pulled in there she is hi monk you found the back okay? Yeah. I sent you the address. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> wow. I did pretty good. Well, I guess so. <laughs> good job. They are going to a sunken garden. I was afraid of getting lost. Sunken garden? Yeah. But but botanical? Yeah. Bro mechanical? It's a hundred year old. Garden. A hundred year old garden. Yeah. All right. She's gonna take her mom. Me and Bruno and I are gonna stay here. Yeah. And don't want to go to botanical gardens. No. Oh well, you'll miss out. Yeah, but it'd be a late supper if I didn't, or if I went. Right. True. Because <laughs> I got you know. We want to go to the beach afterwards. Yeah. So. Yeah. You know, I got a lot of stuff to do. Okay. Well. I got you snackies, I got the crackers. Snackies, all right. And I got you this. Okay. All right, guys, I'll be back with you when we start preparing food. In the meantime, I'm just gonna hang out here for a little bit. I got some time yet. Like I said, it's only 11. And it's only 16 minutes. It's only four miles from here where they're going. So they close at like 4.30 today, but I wanna have supper ready for when they get here that way we can eat go spend a little time at the beach walk around or something and see you know do another sunset i am going to bring my drone and i'm going to try to get up in the air about 400 feet and we'll see if we can catch a sunset with the drone but yeah i saw the footage from last night's video or yes yeah last night's sunset and it, though it was pretty it wasn't as beautiful i mean these cameras just don't do colors and stuff like that justice so anyway guys i'll be back with you okay guys so let's get started on this i got my peppers here of course i'm going to take that sticker off that's going to be a pain but i'm just going to show you how i do one of these for now what i like to do is just cut it cut the bottom till they sit flat like that That'll be good enough. I try to if I don't have to. I try not to get get it clear through, but you know, sometimes it happens. It's not a big deal. But to me, I feel like it makes the juices run out of it and stay in, instead of staying in. So and I forgot my Chef Shaber hat and my apron. So that's probably gonna turn out horrible. Alright, so I'm just gonna cut around the rim there okay just like it uh, I've seen guys and gals before just just like cut the top off and then cut them in half this way and then clean them out and fill them but then I'm just going to take take all the seeds out that you can get out all this uh, white meat here is what I call it but so I'm going to do that to all four of these, and I'm going to show you what we're going to make with our mix. Remember, guys, there is a million different ways that you can make stuffed peppers. You can make stuffed peppers with just stuffing, which I have before, and they're awesome. We're just going to use a meat stuffing. We've got a couple pounds of ground meat right back here. And um, uh, you can add rice. In fact, I think the last time... I made this, I made it with rice, I made it for monkey, but it's been probably three or four years ago now, so, alright, so just get what you can out of there, 
if you leave a couple it's not that big of a deal if you don't mind them a lot of people really really don't like the seeds but I you know to me it's not a it's not a big deal but get 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 the best you can out you can wash them off again if you want these I have washed off but I wasn't thinking that's why this sticker doesn't want to come off because it got wet okay so I'm gonna do that to all four of these guys these little guys here I'm making a mess as always okay I'm gonna do that to all four they're gonna go in this pan we're gonna put them on the grill uh, I got the grill out there it's fired up and ready to go I'm getting ready to put the put those on Here's a whole bunch of seasoning I'm going to use here. Um, so I'm probably going to season them up and put them on. Uh, no, you know what? I think it'll be alright. Because I'm going to put these up on top. You'll see when I take them out. So let me go ahead and get these done. And then I don't, I don't have a big bowl. A big mixing bowl here. Well, maybe I do. We'll have to see. <laughs> If not, I got this pan out here that I'm going to mix up our stuff in. So stick around, guys. Great news. Well, I thought I had all this, these seeds wiped up, but that's all right. Found a bowl. So, got washed and dried. This is about, just, it's about a pound. A pound might do it, but those are pretty good sized peppers she got for me, so I'm going to go ahead and just, excuse me, make these, make both these up. All right. All right, now, I'm just going to. this broken up you're just gonna mix it up just like you would a a um, a meatloaf so I'm just gonna put a bunch of seasoning in here got some garlic pepper looks like a lot guys when it's on camera I've noticed that monkeys are like wow I gotta put a lot of stuff on there I'm like ah, not really just do this to taste you don't have to put any of this on here have some like I said, you can put rice in here. I'm not going to do that this time. Just going to be all meat. Got some lemon pepper. It's pretty strong stuff, but it's very good. There's some paprika, but I'm not going to put it in here. I'm just going to use it for for color on the meat. I'm going to put this stuff on here. Best seasoning you can get right there. Add some of that in there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut the camera off now. I'm going to get this mix up, mixed up. And I'm going to add, oh, you know, about maybe an eighth of a cup. You know, a few tablespoons of tomato sauce. A couple tablespoons of soy sauce. Now I usually use uh, Worcestershire sauce. But I've got soy sauce. That'll work. You don't have to add any of that if you don't want. You can put an egg in there. <coughs> also, what I forgot to do was crunch up some pack uh, packers some crackers <laughs> a pack of crackers because I don't have any breadcrumbs and I'm going to put that in here to keep it you can add an egg too if you want but since this is just such, such a small amount here I don't think I'm going to this time but uh, yeah just uh, breadcrumbs work great um, corn flakes yes corn flakes are fine Oh, that doesn't taste like cereal. No, it doesn't. Just acts like a binding agent. Okay, guys. So, let me get this in here. Let me get it mixed up. And then I'll show you stuffing the those things. <laughs> All right, I brought you back. <clears throat> I'm just going to show you how I'm going to stuff one. Just want your meat. You know, just about like you would a meatloaf or, you know, meatballs. If it gets, if you think it's too dry, just add some more of your wet ingredients in there a little bit more tomato uh, sauce I've used uh, V8 juice in this awesome also what I forgot was 
Jeez, <laughs> not monkey's fault, mine. <laughs> you sure that's all you need? Yep. Now, I forgot the crackers at home. I was going to bring a pack. And uh, I didn't, so she went to the store. Hey, you want to you wanna stuff them, but you don't want to... I know I said I was going to do one, but I got to talk to you anyway. So, uh, you don't want to stuff it too tight because as it as the meat expands, it will split these. Um, but oh, and if you if you feel like your meat is a little too wet, I guess you could call it. Um, this adds more. Uh, breadcrumbs or crackers whatever you're using okay I got this left over I'm gonna make a couple hamburgers with this also reminds me now what I've done before when I made these on the grill like if I made four I would make you know four burgers and I would cook them on the grill to like meaty or uh, to to rare to medium rare right in there then take them all put them in a bowl and then do do your mix and it gives it that flavor but since we're we're cooking it on the grill I think it'll it'll be fine um, let's put a little bit more in this but I, yeah I will go ahead and make a couple couple burgers out of the rest of this now we're going to take these out put them on the grill also what you can do if you want just pour a little bit over the top like that maybe some down in there but I know a lot of guys will smother it you can do that that's absolutely fine let's take these out we're gonna put these on the grill first and I'm gonna season them and I'll be back with you. Okay guys, here we go. Open this up. Now I'm gonna put, I got this all the way down. I'll raise it up as I need it. That's a two pound bag of charcoal. The easy light stuff. As you can see, I've seasoned this up. Nice and neat. What I did, I peeled the membrane off the back and I cut about a third of the way down between every bone on this side and on that side. And that should come out nice and nice and tender. There we go. And we're going to put these up on top. Now, how do you know when these are done? By the way, Bruno's going to eat those two burgers. How do you know when them peppers are done? I'll give you a timeline. At about 250, 275, it's going to take you about 50 minutes. 45 to 50 minutes at about 350 degrees 30 to 40 minutes best way to do them guys get you a good thermo thermometer or meat thermometer I, I would recommend getting one of those digital ones I have a cheap Farberware one it still works it's been washed 37 times without the batteries taken out but that thing always still keeps working no, monkey did that, of course. <laughs> but get the internal temperature of them things about 135 to 140 degrees. You can go to 145 degrees. I wouldn't go more than that. It gets it too well done. You know what I mean? The meat. So, but I'm just going to keep an eye on these. And we're going to go from there. And I'm going to lower this down. Hopefully it'll go down without hitting the top. There we go. Now I'll be back with you when I check on these and we'll see what they're looking like. Okay guys, I want to show you this really cool looking cactus. And I know what I've been doing wrong to get my cactuses to grow. It's grown off the top of that building. Top of that shed over there. Growing right off the corner of that. That's what I'm doing wrong. I need to plant, start planting my cactuses on the roof. <laughs> cool cactus though. Okay guys, so I have flipped these a couple times. It's running about 250 degrees. Keeps flaring up back there, but that's all right.
a little bit dark on this one, but that's okay. So I'm going to leave these on for maybe, I don't know, maybe five more minutes. And then I'm going to take these off and while these are resting, these will cook another five more minutes-ish. Then I'll take them out. They're pretty close to being done. So, yeah. A little dark there, but that's okay. That's barbecue. That'll scrape off. Let's get this. All right. I got my pan cleaned over there. So, give it a couple more minutes, and then I'll kick you back on, and we'll take these off the grill. Okay, guys. Yeah, I think I'm going to take these ribs off of here now. Let me grab them, sorry. Grab my tongs because they're wanting to fall apart on me here. We're gonna let these rest. Whoa. Now I'm gonna put this down here on the bottom. Just for about five minutes. I think it's done. Yeah, I would say they're done, but I'm going to go ahead and take his burgers off of there. Oh, yeah. Alright. Like I said, about, about five minutes. Sorry about the plane. Just take these in the house here. I'll take you in first. Monkey's watching her favorite episode. Well, favorite program. <laughs> That's her favorite guy right there, right, Monk? Yeah. I'll be back with you guys. Okay, taste, taste, taste. Test number one. That was funny. Like, You've been drinking today. What I say last, <laughs> if you guys watched my video last night, go to where I'm getting ready to go out the door and I'm panning over to the table. I actually say, gotta get the key to my phone. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't notice that until <laughs> yeah, we were just watching that video. Uh, so that's the ribs. Okay. Very good. Okay. Mm, very She's nice. had my ribs a hundred times. Now we're going to. Get her to taste test these things. Yeah, but they're always good. What, the ribs? Oh, yeah. So they're get you, stifle. pick out which one's yours and get you mm. a bite of it there. I'll do this one. Sorry. I'm going to get more. Because I only got a little piece. Very good. Nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm, that's good. Now, remember, there's no rice in that one. No. Remember last time we made it with rice. But, but you don't have to. Yeah. No, that's the thing about, the good thing about stuffed peppers. Yeah. You stuff it with what you want. Yeah. I've just used stove top stuffing before with them. Yeah. And that's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, you like that? Good. Yeah, the barbecue. <laughs> Woo-hoo. Barbecue. Wow. You mean on the grill? Yeah. I was going to say I didn't put any barbecue sauce on none of no, that. No, no, nothing. Sauce. <laughs> the grill. Yeah. Okay, all right. Call it barbecue. Time to eat, get your mom ready. and. Yes. We're going to eat, and then we got to run to the beach. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
with you and uh, then we'll go back and watch the uh, we'll go back and watch Bruno while monkey takes a swim um, I decided not to swim today because pigeons won't move because uh, I didn't want to stick her mom with Bruno, you know what I mean? So, it's a doctor beach. You're not allowed up in there. So. Try to help preserve the dunes. And you can rent those. They used to have some in here. She can rent those like lounge chairs. I think you rent them. I don't know. Maybe they let you use them now. But this is this is where I would have brought her mom. Is on this part because she she's got her down there. I'll show you guys. She's got her down there like on a slope, and it's it's like all seashells okay. but right up in there it's a little bit softer and more flat because they're kind of like on a on an angle on a hill, hill on an incline hill climb so we might get another pretty one again tonight So I just thought I'd take you for a little walk. There's another. Let me get my glasses on, see if I can zoom in on that ship out there. Let's see. There's one. The other one should be right over here. Let me see. I should be pretty much locked on to it. straight at it there it is I'm freehanding right now I mean I got you on the pod but I'm freehanding the pod there it is fishing boat pretty cool though I mean, it's way, that thing's probably about four miles out there, I imagine, at least. Sorry for the wind, but, you know, we're on the coast. By a bunch of water, it's always going to be windy. Hopefully, I can get the drone up tonight and get that, and get the sunset, put the drone up over here somewhere, and I'll get it at an angle, hopefully. And uh, if I do, you'll see that footage. I'm going to film it with this camera again, just in case I can't get the drone up, or because uh, some places I got to get clearance for to put the drone up. And um, because we've seen some, there's an airport, but it's not real close. So I think I'm I'm good to go there. But sometimes I got to get clearance. And what they do is they'll they'll message me a code. Uh, a text message me a code and uh, then I can um, with clearance and I type that code in and then it'll let me because it won't without clearance it won't even let me start the drone there they are say hi buddy <laughs> he liked these hamburgers didn't he yeah all right guys upset. I'll be back with you in a second there's a monkey out there.
There she is. <laughs> She's having a ball. She loves the water. She used to be in the swim team back in high school. <laughs> Cute. We got there. Okay, guys, so way out there is that ship that we zoomed on uh, a few minutes ago. As soon as these people quit walking past. There it goes. That's the one we had trouble zooming in on. There it is. Oh, jeez. Anyway. So, there's a lot of, like, container shifts you'll see get past here, too. Pretty neat. Okay, guys, I know you're crooked, but I wanted to have a drink on the beach. So, I got this. Well, it's a mimosa. I know that's a chick drink, but the only other thing they had was Bud Light. Same difference now, isn't it? But anyway, I know I'm going to catch a lot of hell for that, but, you know, I mean, what if, what if Budweiser said, you know, Budweiser for the straight guy? They would get sued. But anyway, um... I thought about getting a Bloody Mary and a Tequila Sunrise, but uh, this is kind of a morning drink in the evening. Mimosa. We, I like mimosas. They're all right. I don't drink them a lot. Well, I don't drink a lot anymore anyway because I can't, but I figure one drink would be all right. You know, just have a drink at sunset. The worst mimosa I've ever had. I'm not kidding you. It tastes like stale orange juice. Seven dollars for stale orange juice. What a shame. Okay, so I exchanged it, same price. I got a rum punch. What do you think of this one, Mama? Oh, it's good. I could drink that. Yeah, she didn't want one earlier. Now she's wanting one. And I let her mom have a drink and I couldn't get it back away from her. <laughs> this is much better. All right. I might have missed it to ring the bell and it disappeared. I think we missed it. I think it was behind them clouds and it was two minutes earlier than what they, what Google told me. So I got the drone up in the air right now, and the helicopter just went past. I got him on drone footage, though.
hope you enjoyed day two of our St. Pete Beach excursion. Sorry the, the clouds were in front of the sun, but I did get some drone footage for you and hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, so we're leaving early in the morning. We'll check out by 11. And Monkey says she has a plan, so I don't know what we're going to do. So I'm sure there's going to be a third day to this <laughs> video of us coming home. So anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching. Thank you very much. We just got back there and they're doing their little thing. <laughs> and uh, she's going to do dishes up. I got to take the trash out to the curb tonight. So yeah um day two it's pretty fun cooking and stuff meal we got we got filled up we have some leftovers those will be good always love leftover ribs and uh, uh stuffed peppers the stuffed peppers were awesome they turned out really good man so try that recipe <laughs> um yeah so anyway guys again thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it and uh I appreciate it. So, Shea Bear, the Myth of Man Legend, I'm gone for now. Stay tuned for day three, I guess. <laughs> now, I got some more review videos coming up, and so hopefully you'll enjoy them as well. So, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. I got my parts for the golf cart, so we're going to be doing it soon, maybe this weekend. We'll see. So, anyway, guys, bye bye. Y'all stay safe. And take care. <laughs> See ya.